Hi. Hi, everyone. So my name is Tan Tan, and I have been participating in World Sudoku Championships since 2013. Um, I'm 24 years old now, so I started very early, and hopefully today I'll introduce you to how it looks like in a Sudoku Championship, and especially a World Sudoku Championship. So to start with, uh, what does a Sudoku competition entail? So this is how the competition hall look like. Um, everyone has a booklet, and everyone just working hard on it and getting their brain fry fried. And <laughs> yeah, so before the competition, we'll receive an instruction booklet, which will tell us what kind of puzzles will appear during the competition. And why do we need that? Because there are a lot of variant Sudoku in the competition, roughly 70, 80%, which actually the next presenter will talk about variant Sudokus. And what are we competing for? We need speed and accuracy. So here are two examples where I didn't get a point because I have some mistake. The one on the left, uh, you can see there's a red mark in the middle of the grid. That's because I forgot to put a number in the cell. And the right one, I put a six next to a six. So of course, I don't get anything. So in a Sudoku competition, in order to do well, we have to both be fast and to be accurate. We cannot make any mistake. Um, so, in the competition, uh, as I mentioned, there are a lot of variant Sudokus. One of them is Thermometer. I, uh, I'm just going to introduce two basic types. So, besides the original Sudoku rules, there are a bunch of thermometer look shapes. And within each, you have to put number from small to big, starting at the bulb. Another one is called Killer Sudoku, which uh, there are a bunch of cages on the screen. Uh, on, the, on the puzzle, and the numbers in the cages have to sum up to the number given at the corner. And it's killer because I think it's a time killer. Um, and actually, my uh, gift exchange would include Sudoku's combining these two rules. And sometimes there are some wild stuff. This one is actually designed by Wei Hua Huang, which many of you might know. And I still cannot wrap my head around it because I can't even figure out how the line goes. <laughs> Um, but this is rare. Usually, uh, the rules are understandable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So besides individual competitions, there are team competitions as well. Um, sometimes people work together, and uh, you have to each person work on a single puzzle. But there, there are rules that are interconnected, so you have to communicate with each other of what um, to share the clues with each other. Um, sometimes you all have to work on a single puzzle. Sometimes uh, we have something more uh, creative. So in this one, we get 12 Sudoku pieces, and we have to put them together into two cubes. And in each cube, the two faces sharing an edge, like the two rows will have the same number. And sometimes we don't use pencil. Like, in this round, people are given stickers, and you have to put the uh, digit in with stickers. You cannot make any marks. You just have to think. And there are different colors in the grid, and each person has a different color. So the puzzle rotates, and then people can only put sticker in the region that's of their own color. And besides competition, what uh, has brought me back to Sudoku Championship like nine times was the community. So not besides competition, sometimes we solve puzzle and drink together. Sometimes we play football at different weird locations. We have karaoke nights, and we make Sudokus <laughs> using stones. <laughs> and uh, one of my favorite memories when I created a few t-shirts with my friends, where on the front it says, find my pair, and on the back it says, solve together. So there are eight of us, and there are eight puzzles. You have to match every two form a pair, and you have to solve them together using both rules. <laughs> and with that, I hope that might interest some of you. So if you're interested in competing, trying things out, um, the world puzzle, there org is uh, where uh, everything is hosted. And the, if you're a US citizen, you can try the qualification on this website. And there are a lot of online solving platform and daily puzzles that we solve. 
Um, and also, I would recommend Kraken Decryptic, and if you want to see me solve stuff, you can also find me on YouTube. Um, and at the end, I want to show you a video. So this is me solving uh, in 2018 in a playoff. And maybe I'll give you some idea of how fast we have to do it. <laughs> no, this is, <laughs> there's, uh, actually there's supposed to be background, like people talking, you can see they were talking very slowly, introducing me how I'm doing it, but this is um, the live speed. <laughs> All right, and that's it for my presentation, thank you.